What is up everyone? Welcome back to Raven with a Mind to Grandmaster. This is episode number two. In the last episode, we had a bunch of successful games. I think we went four and zero, if I remember correctly, but all of the games were kind of short. We did have some really epic fights with like with a Mind surrounds with auto turns and stuff like that. But for the first game today, I really want to try and set the foundation for those epic mass Raven macro games. Let's begin. All right, the first game of the day is going to be against Ley Lanes, a Zerg player on Hecate. Now, I do think Zerg is going to be the perfect matchup for us to go into that Mass Raven macro game. Because against Terran, I mean, okay, I'll put it this way. If you play against Protoss, I don't think it's really going to happen easily at all. Like, it might be possible, so I don't want to root it out completely. But against Protoss, more often than not, we're going to have to win with, like, early Raven harassment and Widow Mind drops and stuff like that. In TVT, I found that matchup to be absolutely unpredictable. I feel like we could either have the longest macro game ever, or we could just keep getting cheesed by Reapers or Marines or whatever over and over against Zerg. Even though Zergs do tend to be a little cheesy in my challenges, I found, it is, I guess, more possible to consistently replicate like one of those really long macro games with Ravens and stuff, right? So that's what I'm going to go for. If you guys have watched a lot of my Terran challenges, you probably have heard of the 5cc setup already. Uh, so that's what I'm going to go for here. I'm not quite sure what my opening is going to be. So I'm allowed to make a Reaper and 5 Marines. I think if I'm going to set up economically, I do want to make use of that. Because I, if I can make a bunker with 4 Marines, have like max 2 Widow Mines. I don't want to make too many because that costs a lot of minerals. I should be able to be safe enough to get like five command centers up. And I know that sounds crazy, but obviously once I get one planetary, that's going to make me feel a lot better. I'm going to try to get as many Ravens as possible. They nerfed the auto turret in some ways, but I feel like you do have more auto turrets available faster. So the harassment should be really good. And uh, I'm mostly just very excited. I'm already, you know, thinking about having like a 20 Raven squad on the left and like massive device defending my planetaries with turrets and stuff. That kind of setup sounds absolutely awesome to me. I know you guys really like Mass Ravens as well, so this is going to be uh, really, really cool. I also wouldn't be surprised if we just get 12 pulled right away, though, I have to say, because, you know, Zerg players are very cheesy, like I said before, on the ladder. Now, before I forget, I actually wanted to say it in the last video, but I have finally fixed my memberships and stuff. So if you guys are interested in some rewards, such as replay packs or extra videos, like is that a super fast turret has, that seems a little crazy. My Reaper's not even there yet. So yeah, in, in replay packs or like some extra videos, I was thinking about maybe doing like some... Maybe like some bloopers or maybe make videos of games that didn't quite make the cut for whatever reason. Like a cool game where my opponent disconnected at some point or whatever. Uh, you guys can check out the memberships. I will I was going to say I'll put the link in the description, but that is if I remember it. Because I know myself, I uh, you know, <laughs> probably could have forget about that. But anyways, feel free to check it out. I know you guys are always looking for ways to support me, which I really appreciate. So decided to make it a little bit easier for you guys. I think there should be a join button below the, uh, below the video. I'm not quite sure if it's the same case on mobile but i'm pretty sure the join button should be there if you guys are interested now i did make a second gas before the third command center this is the most questionable part of my build so far and it's only for the reason that i cannot afford extra command centers fast because as you can see um, i'm gonna make the orbital and then the starport and then already make marines and stuff so i'm not gonna get the third command center as fast but i just think it's smart that i at least get like some ravens huh so i'm not gonna start working towards those wait can i see that can I see the pillar from here and kill, kill it with other... That would be awesome, actually. Let's check that out. I, I think it's barely not going to see it, though. Oh, we, oh, my goodness. Wait, is that a bait? Is that a bait pillar? Yeah, wait. He, I, he, he flew away. I think he probably realized that I could see it. That's pretty crazy. Oh, my goodness. And he's not going to expect me to have this many Marines. I guess I'll just put the Widow Mine up here. I'm going to show the Widow Mine, but that's fine. Wait, does the... No, the Widow Mine doesn't... Oh, it does have enough... Wait. There was like a little space where you could hide. Did you guys see that? That was very interesting. I wonder if uh, Zerg players are going to perfect it at some point. But the, and, all right, there we go. A little bit of a chaotic start to this. I'm not even 100% following what's happening myself, but that's okay. That kind of goes for most of my videos, to be honest. Now, let me make sure I ask you hotkey my stuff. There's no lair being built yet. He does have 200 gas mined already. That is more than they usually would have mined at this point. So that's something we're going to have to keep in mind. I'm going to send my first Raven straight across. I think I'm going to focus a little bit less on Widowmine harassment. 
Excuse me. I think in the last episode, Widowmine Harassment was kind of the name of the game for the damage done. But this game, I really want to try and use the Widowmines to get my base completely safe. And then use the Ravens to attack at the same time. So I'm going to kill that with Widowmines. This is actually pretty nice because that might even give him the idea that I'm going to drop Widowmines, which I'm not going to be doing at all here. I could already start spreading my Widowmines in smart locations. It does make me a little worried, like if he attacks straight to the front. If that's going to be the right approach for me. So at this point, I only have three command centers so far. I definitely have to make two more. And this is what I meant earlier on by not making too many Widowmines. I said I was going to make two. I ended up making three. Especially if I keep making Widowmines, Widowmines build super, super fast. Uh, we're never going to have money for extra command centers. So this is the point where I do have to start cutting them already. I also need an... En Actually, I know, I know what I'm going to do. I need an engineering bay as well. That Reaper, oh, I've, dude, for some reason, I thought that Reaper's going to have, like, five kills. I felt like I killed every Zerkling, but it only has two. That was a little disappointing, actually. Uh, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to lift away the command center to the third base, and then I'll just build it in its place and then make an engineering way there. Th that planet there is going to be in a really good location, I think. What do I have to be afraid of here, guys? Maybe we should think about that first before we get too deep into the game. I would say that any, like, really big attack, maybe, like, Roach Ravager or... Maybe like even Ling Bailing or so would be devastating. Obviously, Mutas would be scary, but Mutalisk do feel like a bit of an outplayable unit. Oh, he attacked the thing on accident. Did you guys see that? He actually attacked the plate so I could get a, lo a little bit of an extra scout there. That was very, very nice. But Mutas, I think I can probably outplay those just by making turrets. I do have to make them in advance because I'm not going to be able to react. Um, this one is going to go over here. Yeah, I think my setup is pretty nice here. Let's send these next couple of ravens across the map. I'm not quite sure how many ravens I want to send across the map, because keep in mind, uh, I do need to defend stuff as well at some point. You know what? I'm going to make a bunker behind there. Just in case my opponent decides to go for, like, a bailing bust on this planet here. Over, over. You know, I, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a risk here, guys. Check this out. Well, I do have enough Vitamize. No, it's going to be fine. I was going to say, I like the planetary in the wall. But I feel like I wanted a little bit more out so it actually covers this path. I don't want, like, an army being easily be able to walk between my third and my fourth base here, you know? That doesn't sound pleasant to me at all. Oh, wait, it's four... Ra okay, I thought it was three ravens. I feel like I'm really getting a little bit lost here. I already have four ravens here. Guess I'll drop two turrets. Maybe I can even kill the spore, by the way. I know it sounds really dumb, but I might be able to kill the spore at some point. Let's get a couple turrets up here in case we are going to go up against Mutas. There's an overseer there. That could mean that there's going to be a Nidus. That is not something I'm happy to see i think i'm just gonna use these um to try and harass that a little bit just in case he wanted to put down a nidus i think it's most likely just a scout i mean after all guys uh Sarah has been winning tournaments again and zerg players around the world must be inspired by his ability to just scout absolutely everything I mean, if I was a Zerg, I would totally try to play like Serral because it just... If you guys haven't seen him play, it's its just perfect. He scouts absolutely everything and you try to mind game in, it doesn't matter because he'll just scout again and again and again until he's seen, you know, all of your family secrets. So I think a lot of Zergs are going to be inspired by that for sure. Now, that, th that uh, Spore did take a... Wait. If he wants to fight with these queens, I think I can kill the queens too. I'm going to target the spore, actually. I don't think he's going to realize that I'm killing the spore. Like, he has a transfuse. I don't think he's going to cover it down here. I'm just going to drop more. If he wants to fight, I'll just drop all the other turrets I have. Look at this. Those queens are going to take a lot of damage. He's using every single transfuse. It is a Hellion I was building, so I have to cancel that. Now, I do have to say, guys, I'm not super happy with my positioning of the Ravens now because I would expect some kind of area unit to be on the way eventually. Like, if you look at my economy, my economy has bloomed quite a lot already. I I think it would only make sense if our opponent is also getting um, pretty close to having either a lot of economy or a lot of tech, which in this case is probably going to be tech. I do really love the mass static defense that he's doing. Like, that's actually uh, pretty cool. But, like, normally, you know, people would have fallen apart to this already, but so far is doing a great job. I killed something there, and I have absolutely no idea what it was, but I saw a couple explosions, so let's just pretend they were ultra. Let's okay, so he's attacking with... I was going to say, wait, is that two roaches and two... Okay, it's more roaches. So two roaches and two bailings. Not quite the army that he wanted to see. I mean, I already have a planetary over here, so I'm not in trouble at all. And I do have enough Widomines to defend stuff now. I think I'm going to spread out my Widomines just a little bit more. Uh, the planetary is not going to die to the roaches at all, so I don't really have to worry about that. I could make this... A Actually, I am going to make this a planetary just to get myself an extra layer. Now, this is where... 
we are gonna have or start having a hard time. If he attacks the planetary, we're completely fine. Like he is simply just not gonna kill that with just a couple of roaches. Like the ravagers are good. Um, the roaches are not gonna do anything here. But the auto turrets were nerfed in straight up fights. So if I'm gonna have to fight against the big roach army, we are gonna struggle a little bit. Yeah, you see, he has the corruptors already as well. That's what I was waiting for. I mean, if he's gonna fight against that, okay, he's gonna use the corruptors now. Then I'm gonna come in with the ravens. Let's see. I mean, if he wants to fight, I think I can actually kill everything here. Let's see. Okay, so a couple of the ravagers go down um not enough of the corruptors i really would have hoped for that amount of uh auto turrets that i spent there like i know it's energy and it's technically free but it's also uh pretty limited for now right like at some point it's probably going to be unlimited but not yet we start getting a bunch of turrets everywhere resaturate this base um and now i might actually have to start making some more widomites oh wait yo those widomites actually popping up wait they're gonna get oh almost every single roach i was gonna say they're gonna kill every single roach but they almost killed them now let's start getting a couple more bases and i was gonna say maybe this is the time where i would like to go for drilling claws normally but this game i really want to see you know the potential of wait did i get an army already i did no I thought I got an armory. I guess I guess I didn't. I was going to get it to cloak my widow mines earlier, but I suppose I forgot about it. But I want to see the true potential of absolute mass raven. Like, I want to make so many ravens that my opponent ends up crying, basically. That's the plan. Let's see. I can... Yeah, maybe I can make, like, a little bit of a force field here. It doesn't even seem like I have to. Dude, he has so many queens, but he already lost every drone. He's pulling in the corruptors now. I wonder if I can escape with these, because I do have a lot of auto turrets, right? I could send a couple of uh, widow mines to kind of reinforce me. Let's just drop a couple of turrets over here. So if he chases me, he's gonna, you know pay a price for it and then i'm gonna burrow these widow mines in this location send a couple of workers over here so i can start making mass turrets let's see oh i think i'm gonna be able to bait him over these widow mines guys look at this it's gonna be beautiful i'm gonna try to select the middle of the pack no barely not oh he was actually that's a cool move he was trying to bait them yeah exactly he was trying to bait them into the ravens i didn't think there was one more widow mine to shoot there so that's a little bit unfortunate now i do sadly uh, kind of have to commit here with the ravens because otherwise he will kill that base and i just don't want him to kill that base i know it's maybe not the big deal ever right now man i i i know i've been making a lot of ravens but i have even more ravens than i thought uh, but i feel like what happens before or what happened before in some of these games in some of these like 5cc setup late game games and there you go well, actually, I, I think he just I think he just got annoyed and gave up because I had so many bases. But what, what I was going to say is that sometimes if you get your base denied a couple times, you never manage to expand again. And then you're going to mine out. Like, if you look at my main, it's already half mined out. This one is slowly starting to mine out. Not quite yet, but slowly. So I really want to sacrifice a little bit just to take these bases because a planetary setup with building armor, with the range upgrade, is just so strong. It's way harder to break. And if he stops it, we might have a hard time later on. But here, this was kind of the kind of game that you want to win with Mass Raven, right? Like, he got really frustrated. He wasn't able to take enough economy. He wasn't able to break my defenses. And this looks like something that i can even win with in grandmaster i think like maybe not exactly this i think we're gonna have to be a little bit better and more creative with the widow mines and you know let's not forget about early game cheeses but that's it for the first game let's keep it going all right the second game is against a master staring that is our first master league opponent also in the second episode it happens very very fast well it might not happen that fast in the Ling Infested the Good Master series because we're already losing games, but that's that's all right. You know, you can't, uh, can't have it all in every single series. Now, like I said, Terran is typically very unpredictable, but we are playing on an enormous map. This map, by the way, if you guys never watch uh, tournament gameplay, this map usually gets vetoed. It gets taken out of the map pool just because it's it's too big and weird and gambly or it's really good for one race i think in particular it's really good for protos in both matchups um and i yeah even with this style where i want to play late games i don't think i want to play against protos on this map though for this challenge it, it could actually be perfect i guess we can only really tell by experience because the thing is if protos gets rich enough and they play either blink or phoenixes then what are you going to do with mass ravens right you're just gonna i kind of pray that they don't find you you don't have recall so if you ever go across the map against in particular phoenixes you will probably just die uh, so it's really not going to be that easy but in tvt i can totally see this map working out well for us that is a ridiculously early scout I can uh, I can tell you guys that this he, he has probably been proxy racks a fair few times in the last game because scouting that early is uh yeah that's that's a little crazy in particular when you play Terran, i just noticed from experiences that people prefer not to scv scout because the builds in like i want to say like the first five minutes five to seven minutes Terran builds are so tight that you don't really want to scv scout even i guess if you're going for a reaper expand on one gas it makes sense 
Uh, but even then, you can still scout a little bit later. You don't have to scout this early. So the fact that he scouted this early, I, I have to imagine he's been getting proxied a lot for him to feel the necessity to do that. Or he wants to play like a Protoss and annoy me by attacking my workers. But so far, he's not really doing a whole lot of that. So, All right, so I'm going to get a factory out now. I do think the early game could be a bit tricky against Terran. Um, I think in particular when it comes to medevac drops medevac drops are very popular so i'm gonna have to spread out widow mines to cover my entire base pretty much and if a medevac gets through the cracks all i'm gonna have is like a couple auto turrets or maybe in the early game just one and i don't know if you guys can imagine what one auto turret against the medevac with two cyclones looks like uh, the answer is that it doesn't look very fun for us so uh, i guess we'll see how that pays out or works out now i'm gonna scout with my reaper this is a little risky because i only have one marine to defend uh, but i just kind of want to get an idea of what's going on i'm gonna make a widow mine before the expansion so i don't have to hurry with it too much and my opponent is expanding pretty early yeah that's pretty much what we expected right because he uh, scouted so early would be very weird if he was going for a build like mine with the double gas but now we do know that we can take we can be a little extra greedy like i don't have to make a lot of widow mines and stuff right i'll just make one i can even send this widow mine all the way across the map and actually oh i kind of i kind of like this situation like you would say my economy sucks now compared to his but i can just send one widow mine like literally all the way that way is that a tech lab that he was making I just assumed that it would be a reactor, but that could have been a tech lab. Okay, I guess we're going to have to rescout that to be sure. Um, let's just see, because a tech lab would be a little crazy. Yeah, it is a tech lab, but then he's making a factory. Um, I think what he's going to do is just play it like extremely safe. So what I'm going to do is just play it extremely greedy. I, I think I don't even need to make these extra marines anymore, though. It would be nice to have. Look, by the way, how long ago I've sent that widow mine across the map, and it's still not there because this map is freaking huge. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start mining this out already and just take my third base instantly uh, pretty much on location. It's not going to be exactly on location, but it's going to be pretty much on location. I have something in my eye that's a little bit annoying. Um, I guess I'll just start making ravens and then... Oh, if I can keep this alive for a little bit longer, it's just going to be nice. It's going to distract him a decent amount. I'm going to make the command center over here instantly. The Reaper dies now. Oh, wait. What, what? That kind of... I know it was the Reaper that died, but for some reason it kind of looked like I, I killed something. But that would be basically impossible, right? Now, how on earth am I going to spread my Widow Mines this game? I... Like, you know, normally you have, like, a path here and a path here. And that's where you put the Widow Mines. But this map, it's more likely that a drop comes in from here or here or here or here or like this, you know? So I actually have no idea what I'm going to do with my Widow Mines. I think I'll just send all my Ravens across for now and see what I can do with these. Uh, my third is he is a little bit faster than my opponent. The best thing about... Okay, this looks like some kind... Yeah, this looks like some kind of mech play, right? But... If you fly your barracks across the map, that almost always means that you're going to make cyclones. But you you don't need a tech lab for cyclones anymore. So either my opponent doesn't know that, which would be very surprising considering he's ranked. I just killed... Uh, wait, is that two marines? I think I killed two marines, right? Because he has two kills. I guess one of the marines was low enough from the reaper. He's making a third... Yeah, that, uh, probably a third base down here, right? I have to imagine he's making... No, he's actually not making the third base there yet. I guess I'll just deny his depot for a little bit the most annoying i can be for the time being um what am i gonna do with these widow mines i still don't know i think i'm just gonna burrow them in the back of the bases not necessarily try to intercept the drops but more like uh just have them in a general area where the drop could hit i think that makes the most sense so it's making vikings already okay that means there's probably no drops on the way which is nice then i'm gonna send these widow mines across the map but like this, this could be a freaking 40 minute game by the way like i i don't know if it's going to be but it totally could be the number one thing i'm going to be scared of actually i'm going to get interference matrix just for that reason the number one thing i'm going to be scared of uh is just going to be battle cruisers because you can't really counter battle cruisers with ravens at all and widow mines are also hilariously bad against battle cruisers now we do have uh, some experience you know trying to outmaneuver battle cruisers with widow mines with all these series that we have done uh but i guess you know we're gonna have to see our opponent is pretty clearly playing mech i mean if he was gonna land that barracks again uh to still play that would actually be a sick yo maybe i should do one of the one of a challenge like that right where i fly the barracks away so my opponent thinks i'm playing mech and then i just still play bio behind it that'd be pretty hilarious not gonna lie okay so i have uh two widow mines in no i, I thought i already had two widow mines there no i sent them across because i scouted the vikings that's what happened okay i still want two there just in case i'm gonna bury one widow mine over here and one maybe a little bit closer to here not quite sure yet what i'm gonna achieve with these ravens but i suppose we'll see 
I'm gonna have three star pros building ravens already. I'm gonna start with building armor first, actually, before the range upgrade. I think that'd be quite nice. Let's see. So he has a couple tanks. Wait, interference, interference medics did finish. So I can just make. Wait, he just shot his own tank. You guys see that? I, I didn't even do anything yet, and he was shooting his own tank. What the hell is that about? That, that seems unnecessarily rude. Okay, so I'm just going to drop all the turrets I have, see if I can kill a couple Vikings. I'm going to lose at least one Raven, uh, and that is probably all I'm going to lose for now, so that's pretty nice. And I'm going to start getting a couple turrets around here as well, get these two Widow Mines burrowed in case there's going to be a future Doom drop. So what do we see here? A barracks with a tech lab. I'm going to scan his base because this is just... Oh, wait, is it actually Battlecruisers? Oh, no, I really hope it's not. You know what? I'm going to make a couple turrets in my production line, just in case. Like, I know it might seem like I'm being a little crazy, but judging from what I'm seeing on the other side of the map, that is kind of going to be our loose condition here, right? Like, if we um, get either a Battlecruiser teleported in our base or, like, a Doom Drop or something, most likely Battlecruisers, like, with the amount of units that he has, I mean, keep in mind, he was making Vikings, but then there's a starport on the tech lab. So he either switched that over, or, in my case, what is more likely is that he has more than one starport, right? So I guess we're just going to have to see. Do I need drilling claws? I think maybe... No, you know what? Let's just make this the freaking Raven episode. I'm, I'm just vibing with the Ravens right now. Not even going to go for drilling claws. I'm just going to keep the Widow Mines as they are nice and natural and then make mass freaking raven behind it that is the plan i already have 10 ravens which is quite nice i think more turrets are always going to be good um i suppose i can wait maybe i can kind of i feel like i could get a really good hit on the vi like he's playing super passive right like i should really adapt to the situation a little better here i was mostly thinking from like what is really going to be good against my style but instead of that i should just be paying closer attention to what my opponent is doing and so far he's playing really passive so maybe i can get like a super nice bait here i'm just gonna put a couple widow mines over here uh, and then i'll try to bait him into those widow mines i think that would be an awesome play they're barely out of range of the sensor tower i believe maybe one of them showed it's possible that it showed okay so he has another starport exactly and this, this guy is definitely playing some pretty crazy stuff he's gonna lose those vikings by the way like this is so many freaking ravens i don't know where this stuff is i think he's preparing to play mass battle cruisers but he's just kind of getting overwhelmed by these auto terrors right now which is absolutely awesome i have so freaking many auto terrors look at this he's lost everything already he's losing SUVs, tanks vikings all of those SUVs are gonna fall as well and he is probably absolutely shocked that ravens are this strong i think after the auto terror got nerfed most people haven't really thought about using ravens like this but i mean the thing is guys if he was playing like a more aggressive playstyle, a more common playstyle, like let's say bio with tanks if I make this many ravens and then spend that many auto turrets, what happens is he just attacks me. Oh, I made a banshee on accident. I'm going to launch a couple auto turrets to kill it as, as extra punishment for me being bad. Uh, I, if I use that much energy killing all those SCVs and stuff, he just uh, attacks me and I die because I don't have enough energy on these ravens anymore, right? But here, since he's playing so passive, it feels like I can do this for absolutely free. I am having the time of my life expanding as much as I want. I even made a, like a good amount of defenses too, but it doesn't even really look like I'm going to need all that but this is pretty much the perfect game for my style i did okay i was gonna say i forgot to scout the coordinates of the base but i actually didn't so that's uh you know a nice autopilot thingy for me maybe he wasn't even yeah okay there's the battle cruiser. i knew he was gonna play battle cruiser it just they came out a lot later probably because of the damage uh i did earlier and i feel like the way he's playing this game it's it's very similar to how i would play a challenge you know like i counter what the opponents tend to do which in his case would probably be you know just attack him with like a one-on-one -on -one at the front because that's how terrans usually play uh, that's why he had like all these tanks positioned bunkers and he was making turrets and stuff but then sadly for him freaking bird watcher shows up and uh you know well, i can actually interference basically all of these two i don't think i can kill them though but i can maybe try to get a good amount of damage on these and then bird watcher shows up and make a million ravens look i'm gonna get the one of the battle cruisers already can i get another one before it teleports i'm actually gonna get both of the battle cruisers and the tank god this game is making ravens look like the most broken unit of all time by the way like he has tanks bases suvs battle cruisers everything and nothing can stand against the power of the raven this is very important by the way that i keep his battle cruiser count low because if i wouldn't do that wait where's my armory I thought I made... I, I, I had the same last game. I thought I made an armory for upgrades, but I didn't. I only need one, actually. Because I only have uh, armor. Like, I don't even need attack upgrades. Uh, but this game is just freaking beautiful. So far. Every time, I'm just going to go back and recharge. Uh, but I was going to say, if... 
I let the battle cruiser count snowball. Like six battle cruisers are already gonna be really, really hard to kill, especially if he starts paying attention to dodging like the interference matrixes and stuff, you know? I feel like at this point, maybe I can even walk all of my wooden mines across the map. I just F2 them, unburrow them on, walk them across the map because I do think a potential winning move is on the cards here. Like he really, I wonder what his supply is. To me, it doesn't really look like he has units. He does have a couple, oh no, it's just, just one wooden mine, right? Now I have so many fresh ravens as well. I think there's enough interference matrixes in here, but I'm not 100% sure. I think we're just gonna go. You know what? I'm even gonna disable the widow mines there just so I don't lose. Wait, where did he even teleport? He teleported on top here. There's enough turrets there to take care of that, luckily for me. I'm just gonna pull the SCVs already just to make sure that I uh, actually can kill those battle cruisers with the turrets. And there we go. GG has been called. And I wanna see the efficiency in this game, guys. Oh my goodness, that is actually disgusting. 1,300 against 7,800. Six times the resources lost, pretty much. That is absolutely brutal. I think there's too many Ravens to click on and see how many kills they have, but some of those have eight kills, and this game was absolutely awesome. This episode really made Mass Ravens look like the most brutal, overpowered composition ever because neither opponent really had a chance. The harassment was strong. Every time they tried a counter, which in this game, uh, to be honest, was very, very little. I think this was his first counter attack, but in the last game, too, they couldn't really stand the power of the turrets, the planetaries, and the Widomites, and this was fantastic, and we're going to leave it at that for today. Hope you guys had a fantastic time with this episode. If you enjoyed, Make sure to give a video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all for the next one. Adios.